In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the inductance of a custom inductor. The method that I'm going to use is based on, off of finding the resonant frequency of a tank circuit, a series tank circuit. What I show here is basically what you expect to see when the series tank circuit is swept through resonance. The resonance is the peak of the voltage across one of the circuit components as you sweep the frequency to this re uh, resonant frequency called F0. So the resonant frequency of a tank circuit is 1 over 2 pi square root of LC, where L is the inductance and C is the capacitance. I pre-measured the capacitor to be 14.82 nanofarads, and there's also resistance in there, uh, which has to do, deal with the width of this curve, but it doesn't go into the uh, formula for the resonant frequency. And the resistance that I measured is 332 ohms. Uh, when you manipulate the algebra, the inductance is equal to 1 over 2 pi f0 squared times the capacitance. And here is a tank circuit, which is a series tank circuit. So LX is the unknown inductor. This is the capacitor, and this is the resistor. And I have a scope, and a which I don't, what I don't show here is a multimeter set up to measure frequency. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep the frequency coming out of this generator here and look at the response across the resistor on the scope to find the maximum. When I get the maximum response, I know I found the resonant frequency. So let me do that. Okay, there is the trace. I'm going to sweep the frequency until I get the maximum response. As I sweep the frequency, you can see the waves keep growing as I get closer and closer to the resonance. It looks like the resonance is around over there. And I'm going to apply this frequency counter here. I'm going to apply it to the circuit and measure that. Get the best response there. When I did the experiment before, I found that the, frequ the frequency where the maximum response occurs is 23.3 kilohertz. And when you plug in 23.3 kilohertz into the equation, the inductance you arrive at is 3.15 millihenries. And this is the inductor, by the way. I just wound it on a toroid core that I had lying around. So there you go. That's how you find the uh, inductance of an inductor using the resonance method.